Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The piston pumps were one of the most common pumps in the market. They lost their popularity to centrifugal pumps due to the development of high-speed drivers. Piston pumps are only used for low to moderate pressures of about 2000 to 3000 psi. Any higher than that, complications and sealing would arise. Due to this, a different type of reciprocating pump called the plunger pumps were used. The plunger pumps are able to withstand pressures of up to 30,000 psi. The working of the piston and the plunger pumps are very similar. Just like how a piston moves to and fro in the same location, a plunger pump has a plunger which does the same action. But there are a few differences in them. In a piston pump, the high pressure seals move along with the piston head. This is not the case in a plunger type pump. The high pressure seals are stationary. This allows us to use them at much higher pressure than piston pumps. However, these pumps have their limitations too. The piston and plunger pumps cannot be used to pump corrosive liquids. This is because the piston head or the plunger can get damaged because of corrosion. To avoid this, a different type of pump called a diaphragm pump is used. The working of this pump is much similar to the working of the piston pump. In a diaphragm pump, we have a flexible diaphragm which moves in a reciprocating manner to pump the fluid. The diaphragm is normally made up of rubber or high-grade Teflon plastic. During the suction stroke, the diaphragm is pushed upwards. This sucks in the fluid from the suction pipe and into the pump. In the discharge stroke, the diaphragm is forced downwards and the fluid exits through the discharge pipe. Unlike the piston or plunger type pumps, the diaphragm pumps don't require a dedicated sealing system. This enables them to operate rather leak-free. However, a basic diaphragm pump is not able to produce continuous flow. To overcome this limitation, a double diaphragm pump is used. The most common of the double diaphragm pumps is the AODD or the air-operated double diaphragm pump. The AODD pump uses compressed air as its power source. Compressed air shifted from one chamber to another by means of a pneumatic system. When one diaphragm is fully extended, the air is directed to the other diaphragm. This back and forth motion forces the liquid out of one chamber and into the discharge piping while the other is being filled at the same time. This ensures that there is a consistent flow of water coming out of the output valve. These pumps are used in oil rigs and chemical plants. They are also used in sewage treatment plants as they are very efficient in pumping high viscosity fluids like oil, sewage and sludge. All the reciprocating pumps which we have talked about in our videos up until now had one common disadvantage. They were fixed displacement pumps. That means the output volume of the working liquid per stroke is fixed. To overcome this, a different type of pump called the axial displacement pump was developed. We will be discussing on how this pump works in our future videos, so stay tuned. Another disadvantage of reciprocating pumps is their cost. The reciprocating pumps cost as much as four times the cost of a centrifugal pump of similar specifications. This is because of the complex design of the reciprocating pumps. These pumps also have many more moving parts. This drives up their maintenance cost and reduces lifespan. The efficiency of reciprocating pumps is also lesser than centrifugal pumps due to the fact that they need to operate a wide variety of inlet and outlet valves. The biggest advantage of the reciprocating pumps is their ability to pump fluids with very high viscosity. Due to this reason, these pumps are used in hydraulic systems to pump hydraulic fluid. Well, that's it for today's video guys. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.